Hello, I'm Lillian Warren here at Anya Tisch Gallery to give you a five minute tour of Parables and Everyday Stories, which will be on view from October 2nd through October 31st. If you're familiar with my work, the first thing you'll probably notice is that these paintings, the imagery is denser and the color more saturated. As you get closer, you'll notice the mix of contemporary figures with the abstracted and sometimes obviously mythological ones. So in this work, I utilize the iconography and elaborate designs of medieval manuscripts as a context, a symbolic space for the exploration of everyday life. In the ancient documents, the people portrayed were kings and mythological heroes and saints. In my adaptation, the characters are everyday folks, and the stories are imagined parables and myths relating to our time, but with the symbolic import left up to you. Why this tradition? I studied medieval art and art history, and I adored the visual richness and the crazy combination and imagination that went, in, went into combining the sacred, serious subject matter with the mundane and the ridiculous. It matched with my perception of life, that day-to-day -day life is this crazy mixture of big existential questions and the mundane and the absurd. Let's take a closer look at some of these. Parable of the selfie is obviously a parable of our time with our compulsion for social media, but it has dragons and angels taking selfies. All the figures are intertwined and perhaps chained together by the armature. Let's look at Tale of Secrets. Here we have a circle of figures sharing secrets. Included in the circle is this little medieval guy who has horned rimmed glasses and his mouth covered with tape. He's fairly bursting with not being able to share his secret. Um, all the figures are encased in the ornamental armature, which mixes all this swirling free-form arabesques with tight geometric patterns. This is some kind of symbolic story. We just don't know the details. Let's move over to Parable of Temptation. This one is a diptych, as if you had two facing pages of a manuscript. The first thing that jumps out is the intense, rich blue of the border. Then we get a little closer and see an older gentleman in his Hawaiian shirt who is doing internal battle with temptation as symbolized by this seven-headed monster, seven-headed snake. The snake is doing battle with some angels or warriors with red halos. The angels are getting a little help from a friend of our protagonist. I wanted to work with temptation because it's such a recurring theme in art and literature. Now, usually it's tied to the desire for knowledge or immortality or maybe untold wealth. And as I was working on this, I was contrasting the epic temptations in Greek mythology uh, versus the temptations in our lives, which are often along the lines of, do I have a second dessert? Or can I buy some artwork that I really haven't got a place to hang? Now, a friend of mine saw this painting and immediately 
saw it as a recasting of the temptation of Adam and Eve. And I love that interpretation as well. There are many more paintings in the show. The gallery is open on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, noon to four. So please grab your mask and come by for a visit.